This video is about writing exponential functions in equivalent forms. This is AP Precalculus Topic 2.4. If you appreciate the content, please give it a like. Rewrite each of the following exponential functions in the equivalent general form y equals ab to the x, where a and b are positive constants. We will use properties of exponents for the rewrite. For example, we know that c to the a power times c to the b power is equal to c to the a plus b power. But this, of course, is reversible. If we start off with c to the a plus b power, that will always equal c to the a power times c to the b power. And it is this property that we will use to rewrite these expressions. So 7 to the x plus 2 power, that's like c to the a plus b power. So we can rewrite f of x as a multiplication problem. 7 to the x power times 7 squared. Of course, 7 squared is 49, and I'm going to put that in the front. So we get 49 times 7 to the x power. And this fits the model y equals a times b to the x that we were shooting for. Similarly, g of x can be rewritten as 5 to the x power times 5 to the negative 1 power. Did you know that 5 to the negative 1 power is the same thing as 1 over 5? I bet you did know that. And I'm going to put that here in the front, and that leaves me with 5 to the x power. Kabam! h of x equals 2 to the x plus 3 power can be rewritten as 2 to the x power times 2 to the third. 2 to the third power is 8. So if we put that in the front, we get 8 times 2 to the x power. Get it. Number 4. k of x can be rewritten as 3 to the x power times 3 to the negative 3 power. 3 to the negative 3 is the same thing as 1 over 3 to the third power. This is 1 over 27. I'm going to put that in the front. So we have 1 over 27 times 3 to the x power. There it is. Let's see, let's see. P of x is equal to, I'm just going to bring down the 2 unchanged. Now, it is the 4 times, uh, rather, 4 to the x minus 1 power part that needs to be rewritten. So this is all multiplication, and it'll be 2 times 4 to the x power times 4 to the negative 1 power. 4 to the negative 1 power is 1 fourth. So I will have p of x is equal to 2 times 1 fourth times 4 to the x power. 2 times 1 fourth is 2 over 4, which reduces to 1 half. So we will have 1 half times 4 to the x power. Easy peasy. Number 6 is getting into a different property of exponents now. We know that uh, if we have c to the a power, and then that whole thing is raised to the b power. When you have a power raised to another power, you multiply those exponents. So this will be the same thing as c to the ab power. But again, this property is reversible. So if I begin with c and then the exponent is a product, I can rewrite this as a power raised to a power. So I can rewrite this 
if I feel like it for some reason, as c to the a power all raised to the b power. So here on number 6, we have m of x equals, and then we have 3 to the a times b power, the 2 times x power. So I can rewrite this as 3 squared to the x power if I want to. Of course, 3 squared is just 9, so m of x equals 9 to the x power, and that's it. For number 7, we will end up using that same property again. But first, to be extra clear, x over 2 is the same thing as 1 half times x. So now I can split this up as I did previously. If we want to, we can write this as 4 to the 1 half power all raised to the x power. Hopefully you know that 4 to the 1 half power is the same thing as the square root of 4, which is 2. To, so this simplifies down to 2 to the x power. Kabam! Number 8 is almost the same as number 7, so I'm going to do this very quickly. n of x is equal to 1 third times x, so therefore n of x can be written as 8 to the 1 third power all raised to the x power. But 8 to the 1 third power is the same thing as the cube root of 8, which is 2. So this is the answer. For number 9, we do have this extra 5 out in the front. Don't pay it any mind. It's just going to be sort of along for the ride. So focus on the 2 to the 3x power, which we can rewrite as 2 to the 3rd power, all raised to the x power. So then we get s of x. My s's look a little bit too much like 5's. 2 to the 3rd power is 8. So we end up with 5 times 8 to the x power. Yes, kids, it's just that easy. Let's shift gears and do a few multiple choice questions. Number 10, which of the following functions is an equivalent form of the function f of x equals 4 times 36 to the x power? Looking at the answer choices, I see that I must rewrite 36 using a 6 without changing the value. But we know that 36 is the same thing as 6 squared. So let's build the problem around that. So we have f of x, and we have this 4 in the front. So we have 4 times uh, 6 squared. And then we have this x here, which would be kind of like this, right? The 36 to the x power became 6 squared to the x power. But as we have seen, uh, when you raise a power to another power, you simply multiply. So this would be the same thing as uh, 4 times 6 to the 2x power. So let's see, 4 times 6 to the 2x power, the answer is D. On problem number 11, the original problem has this 2x but then all of the answer choices just have a single x like this. That tells me that I need to rewrite this with the x out by itself. 3 to the 2x is the same thing as 3 squared all raised to the x power. But 3 squared is simply 9, so we have 5 times 9 to the x power. And the answer is b. Number 12, h of x, first of all, is equal to 9 times 4 to the, and x over 2 is the same thing as 1 half x. None of the answer choices have 1 half x, so I need to get the x out by itself. h of x equals 9 times 4 to the 1 half power, all raised to the x power. We have seen several times in this video that 
4 to the 1 half power would be the square root of 4. So h of x equals 9 times 2 to the x power, and the answer is b. In number 13, we are starting off with a 4 right here, and then we end up with either a 2 or a 16. So we have these two options. I can either rewrite the 4 using a 2, or I can rewrite the 4 using a 16. Let's just try one at a time and see which gives us one of the answer choices. I can rewrite the 4 using a 2 by writing 2 squared, but when you raise a power to a power, you multiply. That gives k of x equals a squared times 2 to the 2x power, but that does not match either of the answer choices involving a 2. So let's try rewriting the 4 using a 16. I can replace 4 with 16 to the 1 half power because we know that 16 to the 1 half power is the same as the square root of 16, which is 4. When you raise a power to a power, you multiply. So you end up with 16 to the 1 half x power, or 16 to the x over 2 power. So the answer is D. On number 14, I see that all of the answer choices have x outside the parentheses by itself. So I need to take this little x and pull it outside the parentheses. So far we have this, 3 to the negative 2 power. A negative exponent drops you down to the denominator. So 1 over 3 squared. But of course, 1 over 3 squared is the same thing as 1 over 9. We have 1 over 9 to the x power, and the answer is d. Number 15, first of all, we have m of x equals 8 times 9 to the x over 3 is the same thing as 1 third x. All of the answer choices have x all by itself on the outside of parentheses. So I need to pull this x outside of parentheses. That will be m of x is equal to 8 times 9 to the 1 third power, all raised to the x power. At this point, we are very comfortable with the fact that 9 to the 1 third power is the same thing as the cube root of 9. So this will become the cube root of 9, all raised to the x power. And the answer is D. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.